Today I want to show you how to do a little bit of blacksmithing to make this cool southwestern coat rack out of forks and a piece of lumber. Coming right up. Knock knock. Who's there? Two I may not look burly enough to be a blacksmith, but it is kind of my dream. And I got started on a kind of a weird little project. I made this southwestern style coat rack and I used old forks that I found at a thrift shop and I melted them down and made them into interesting shapes. This one uh, in the middle, I rushed a little bit. So as you can see, I broke the tines off. Anyway, it's really fun and easy. Here are some of the tips. Normally, when you get um, a propane torch, it doesn't look like this. It's just a canister, and you turn the thing on, and you have to get it started, and then you have to turn the gas off again. And by then, the thing that you were heating up has gotten cold. So this is kind of a really neat innovation. Watch. <laughs> wow! Come on! <laughs> That's just too cool. Okay, so no fiddling with anything. It's just on and then it's off. So you heat the thing up, then you just release the trigger and you're good to go. Um, and then they came up with another uh, innovation for when you're working in tight spaces and you can't even get this little guy in there. So this just uh, rides in a, in a canister, uh, like a little holster on your belt, and you've got this five foot hose. So when you want to heat something up, yes. <laughs> So anyway, I could go on. Um, but here's a tip. The yellow canisters contain propylene gas. That is about 20% hotter burning than the blue canisters, which contain propane. So it's great to get the yellow stuff if you can. And let me just give you a couple of tips on melting stuff. First of all, you need to be doing it with um, all the windows open or outside is ideal because there are um, ga uh, gases that come off the hot metal that you don't want to inhale. You're going to need to get yourself some blacksmithing tools. It's hard to find them except in antique shops you just find these lovely old hammers and you'll see that the face of this is kind of uh, convex and the reason for that is when you're hammering on hot metal if you're using a flat faced hammer you end up leaving little tracks uh, so you need a little bit of a, a rounded surface and then this is another style of blacksmith's hammer which again has that slightly rounded face so you'll need one of those two pairs of pliers, some old silverware or tableware from um, a thrift shop, and of course safety glasses. And I like to wear gloves because uh, sometimes I forget something's hot and I pick it up. Because the metal um, tends to conduct heat really, really well, you want to hold them in, in pliers. And you want to get it nice and red hot. And you pretty much want to take it to orange if you can get it there. And then you just take, oops, a little bit of a bend. Oh, that wasn't a very good start, was it? <laughs> I'll do that again. Those two just seem to want to be together, so I'm not going to fight it. As soon as the metal stops being orange, you have to stop and go back to heating it because it's just not going to bend anymore. If you try to keep bending it, you'll break it. So let's say I just want to flatten that out a little bit. Then you just bang away until it looks the way you want it to. Back and forth, heat and pound. It's meditative. You can do most of your shaping with a hammer or pliers if the handle fork isn't too robust. And there's the hook. You'll want to drill a hole so that you can fasten the hook to the board. Use a punch, or if you don't have a punch, use a sharp nail with a hammer. And that little depression helps guide your drill bit. You want to use a cobalt bit, add a little oil first to lubricate the bit so it won't overheat. So there's my nice little hole. So there you go. That's all there is to it. It's just a little bit of minor blacksmithing. It's micro forging is what it is really. Anyway, you'll have fun with that. Just like I said, make sure that it's well ventilated and you're outside and you're working safely and you're good to go. You can start your own Iron Maiden forge. Do girl.